Hey everybody, Chad Kaleher, field agronomist with Bex Hybrids in East Central Illinois. Today it's May 16th. I'm in a field in northern Ford County, Illinois, and I just wanted to share some observations with you in a cornfield here regarding some chemical um, complaints that I've been fielding over the last couple days. So here's some observations I just want to share with you. Um, and you can see this field that I'm in is, is fairly a small field, and I'm on the headlands currently, and the complaint that came in was the corn was dying and upon further investigation we can, we can see some of the some of the symptoms of what the farmer was seeing uh, in this particular case on this plant right here we can see whitening of the leaf veins the leaf veins are white and the bottom leaves here are dying off and this is a clear indication that there was fomosafin or the active ingredient in, for example, Flexstar or Reflex. So with this being in a headland, uh, we have potential for more carryover because of sprayer overlap and double area, for example. But if we think back to the potential for carryover this year with herbicides that may have been applied post-emergent soybeans last year, especially if it was after June 20th, we, we rely on microbial activity to degrade a lot of herbicides, including things like Flexstar. So if we have a cold winter and, and a cold spring and combine that with dry, we don't get a lot of microbial activity to degrade the herbicide that is still in the soil. So this plant early on here is taking up some of that Flexstar that was sprayed last summer on the soybeans. This plant will actually make it most plants will uh, come through this okay so just with time and moisture we will see these plants tend to slough off these lower leaves uh, but it will be fine given time and moisture another issue in this field is actually from an application this spring so if we go just a row over we can see some plants here that look fairly normal but if we go down the row we start to see we still see some white veins here from the Flexstar carryover, but we also start to see what's commonly referred to as buggy whipping. So this could be a result of cold weather or combination of cold weather with the chlorocetamide herbicide. So things that contain dual harness outlook, there are many on the market today, commonly used in many corn herbicides. So this is what we're seeing here the buggy whipping from the application from this year and usually we see more of that again where we have overlap areas where it's combined with cool temperatures uh, and the corn was planted afterwards or if the the herbicide was applied after planting and we have cool temperatures but most of the time with good growing conditions these leaves should unfurl develop normally uh, given time and adequate moisture so that's a report from the field this year um, on some chemicals that we're seeing causing some issues. And if you have any questions, please contact your local BEX representative. Thank you very much.